Hi, welcome to the numeracy 5 a day answers for the 22nd of March. If you are looking for a hint for one particular question, here are our video numbers now which may be quite useful for you. So feel free to pause the video and take a note of any video number that you might need to give you a hint on any question or two that you're stuck on. Otherwise we're going to go through the answers now. Okay, our first question. Our first question asks us to write the number 30,000 in figures. So 30,000 in figures, well that would be 30, 0, 0, 0, 0. Well, that's it. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Lenny parks his car for four hours and the car park charge is 70 pence per hour. And the question says, how much did he pay for his parking? So we're gonna to need to multiply 70 pence by four. 70p multiplied by four. And when we do that, we get, well, four times zero is zero. Four times seven is 28. So the answer would be 2.80 and that's it. Okay, our next question asks us to write 1.7 kilograms in grams. So to change from kilograms or to convert from kilograms to grams, we multiply by a thousand because there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. So if we take our 1.7 and we multiply by a thousand, we will get our answer in grams. So that will be, we're multiplying by a thousand, that's one, two, three zeros. So we're going to move the digits three places to three columns to the left. So it's in the units. So moving it once will be the tens, again will be the hundreds, and again will be the thousands. So it's 1,700 grams. And our next question asks us to write 250 centimeters in meters. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. So if we divide this by 100, we will get our answer in meters. So 250 divided by 100. We're dividing by 100, so we're going to move the digits two places or two columns to the right. So we're in the uh, hundreds at the moment, the two. So if we move it two columns to the right, it will move into the tens and then the units. So the answer will be 2.5 meters. Okay, our next question. Our next question, it's an order of operations question, or you may recognize bod mass or bid mass or whatever you may call it, but it's an order of operations question. And in these questions, well, we want to do our brackets first, then any orders or indices, they are orders or indices, they would be our powers or square roots, those type of things, squares, cubes, so on. We then got our divisions and multiplications and additions and subtractions. Now we've got no brackets, no indices, powers, and so on. We've got divisions, so we're going to do our division first. So we're going to do 12 divided by 2, and 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So we've got 14 plus 6. And then we're going to work out 14 plus 6, our addition, and that would be 20. So the answer to that question is 20. You have to do the 12 divided by 2 first of all, which is 6, and then 14 plus 6 is 20. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question, we've got a large coach is 53 seats and a minibus is 19 seats. We're going to assume that the driver has his own seat, then we don't need to worry about that. A school drives three, or a school brings three large coaches and four minibuses on a trip. All vehicles are full. How many people go on the trip? So what we're going to need to do is, well, we know there's three coaches, so we're going to multiply that by three, and we know there's four minibuses, so we're going to multiply that by four, and then we'll add them together. So we're going to do 53 times three. So when we do that, we get three times three is nine, and three times five is 15. So the three large coaches will hold 159 passengers. Then we have our minibuses. So we have 19 uh, seats in each one, and we're going to multiply that by four. So we'll do four times nine, which is 36. So put the six down, carry the three. Four times one is four, plus three is seven. So the four minibuses will hold 76 passengers. And it says, how many people go on the trip? So we need to add those two together. So when we do that, we get, well, nine plus six is 15. So put the five down and carry the one. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 1 is 13, put the 3 down, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So how many people go on the trip? 235.